Hey guys, welcome back to another Helix video. Uh, the new firmware version 2.50 just came out today. Um, so kudos to Line 6 for giving us lots of new toys and goodies to play with. Uh, this video is uh, just really, really basic, kind of a first look kind of video. Um, I'm using the uh, the new Placator Dirty model, which is based, based on a Friedman BE100. Um, I'll probably do another video later on down the line with uh, kind of going more in-depth with the new reverbs and some of the other features. But uh, for tonight, I just ended up messing around with this amp for a while. And it was so much fun to play. I kind of got uh, sucked in and just jamming for a little bit with it. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to share this patch with you guys. Um, just going to play a little bit, and then I'll just kind of talk through what's happening with it. So here we go. So that's just basically the core amp tone, um, just a really great uh, high gain sounding amp. Good good kind of growl to it. Um, basically just uh, as far as how I've set it up, uh, drive is about halfway, master's halfway. Um, kind of just boosted the, e the EQ all the way across the board, not quite as much presence, but um, really just in my mind is kind of how I would do, do a Marshall uh, plexi kind of amp mob just kind of boost the eq because they're a little bit subtle um i had i turned on the fat and c45 um the fat i'm you know i'm assuming it thickens it up really not sure what the c45 i'm not that familiar with uh, all the friedman amps so uh, i was just kind of just happened to like it turned on i didn't bother to look up to see what what that actually was supposed to be doing um this saturation control um i'm going to play around with it i like it adds well, let me flip it on real quick and let you hear. So I like the kind of, it, it adds this kind of squishy attack, which I do like. Um, but um, it, it affects the volume quite a bit, and it, it's uh, maybe a little darker. So I haven't really played around with that too much. But uh, as you can see, it's a pretty straightforward. I did uh, boost the bias just a little bit, but. Otherwise, you know, just kind of pumped up the EQ a little bit, and that's about it. Um, I, I use kind of my standard, um, my go-to cab settings, which is basically a 2x12 and a 4x12. Um, I'm using uh, dynamic 57 dynamic mics on both. Um, I'm using that in parallel with parametric EQ, kind of Chad Boston's OTB method, um, tweaked a little bit. Um, and um, I do have a parametric EQ at the end. Uh, this is kind of how I would do it. If I was going to do recording, I always like to have kind of a final EQ. So I decided to just go ahead and throw that in my Helix patch. Um, I am using one of the new reverbs, a double tank. And then um, the tile, uh, my buddy Johnny Lee uh, put out a video about uh, you throwing this on at the end just to kind of light, give it a little more liveliness. So uh, I've been, been trying that out the last couple of days, and I think I like it. So... Uh, and then, of course, a little bit of compression at the front, but really, really simple patch. Um, I do have a delay here as well, but um, like I said, there'll be, I'll do more on this later down the line. I just wanted to get kind of throw this this little demo patch up tonight. Um, I was messing around also with some uh, different uh, gain staging with uh, some drive pedals. One of the things I liked is uh, using the Minotaur to really, uh, really goose the front end of the amp which takes it from, you know, it's already high gain, but takes it from that to uh, love hearing that ring out so it just kind of takes it you know pushes it up a notch you know, without it just thickens it up and adds some more gain um, also cool if you're going to do some kind of riffing it, it gives you a little more attack uh, well 
about it. So it's just a different flavor, I think, for um, just kind of basic, really tight rhythm parts. Just having the amp on its own works great. And then if you want to just kind of thicken that up, the, min the Minotaur works pretty well. Um, let's see, I think I have a KWB here if I want to just add even more gain. <laughs> I have a Hedgehog D9 here, just if you really want to go over the top. Um, so I'm, I'm still just playing around with this patch, kind of figuring out what works and what doesn't. Um, of course, with the delay on, you get something like this. <laughs> So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, just a real basic patch right now. I'll throw it up on custom tone, but um, I think there's still a lot of work to be done on this to throw in some different effects and goodies and see where all you can take it. But just for a straight up, you know, more of a higher gain patch, um, I think this is pretty pretty fun. I'm I'm pretty impressed so far with uh, with this new Friedman amp model. Um, I have a buddy that has a couple of Freedmans, and I know how great those things do sound. So, anyway, um, you know, more to come on on videos for this update. Um, I definitely want to do another video focusing on the reverbs. Um, I just didn't have time to do it tonight. So, anyway, um, hope that uh, you guys like this uh, patch. If you, if this is a tone you're looking for, download it, give it a shot, and see if it works for you. Anyhow, um, I appreciate it, and we'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>